Chica back with another video and for today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my skincare routine and I'm going to be showing you all the products that I use to sort of clean up my skin and that has helped my skin so far so I'm going to share them with you guys and hopefully these can help with your skin so first things first for my skincare I use my facial cleanser and for me it's the CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser and this is for normal to dry skin I use this both day and night and I would take like a pea sized amount and I would put it on my face and wash off my face. I usually use this when I'm in the shower and I sometimes use it on my back and my chest because I have chest acne and back acne and it really helps. So if you have chest acne and chest acne and back acne, I suggest you use your facial cleanser on your chest and your back and hopefully it should help because this has really helped with me and with my skin. Another thing is CeraVe products are the best they are elite like if you don't have a CeraVe product whether it be a moisturizer SPF a face wash something you're doing your skincare all wrong like that's just my personal opinion but CeraVe products they from what I've seen and from how I've been like using these they work like so good on my skin they also have helped my brother with his acne he still has it but like it's helping his skin also Sometimes what I figured out for my skin is when I don't use products that are situated directly for dry skin Because that's the skin type that I have if I don't use products like that I tend to break out and it's just like the formulas are all mixed up and they're just not good for my skin so Getting a product that is situated directly for your skin type is like the best thing you can do for your skin I used to use the, um, the CeraVe one for normal to combination skin and that made me break out a lot because I used to think my skin was combination because I used to have like oils over here after I put on products but that wasn't the case, I actually have dry skin so yeah, use products that are good for your skin okay anyways, um, I just got a phone call so back to what I was saying so I use skin uh, face masks when I'm inside the shower and I do that before I wash my face so I would put it on and then I would hop in the shower and wash my hair and all those stuff um, but I only use these face masks two times a week I have two set days in a week that's mainly based for like deep self-care where I wash my face I put on a face mask I would shave and do all those stuff so that would be set Sunday and Thursday um, I would do those stuff. So I'm going to show you guys the two face masks that I use and how I use them. So the first product that I use is the Ordinary AHA 30% and BHA 2% peeling solution. And this product is really good for when you have dark spots or hyperpigmentation, which is like the dark spots that I may have on my face right now. Yeah, I don't know if you see it. Yeah, like the discoloration. So this product has really helped me with cleaning out my um my dark spots and stuff and especially if you have dark circles or anything that's like uneven, uneven skin tone on your face or acne this really helps like it has a sort of burning sensation but that's how you know how it's like when it's working it's like a chemical peel sort of so you have to be careful with how you use it and this is not good for sensitive skin so i use this only twice a week and it works really well so yeah, that's this. And I usually take three drops of it and I would put one over here, one here, and then one on my forehead. And I would mix it in everywhere, making sure that I get it everywhere on my face. And then I would go in with this. This is a mask that I make at home. And it's basically just turmeric and water and I mix it together. I'm gonna insert a clip of how I do it for you guys to see. So I would take um, a wooden stick because this stains and you have to be careful with it because it stains really quickly. Like even if you use it on your skin, your skin will literally turn yellow after but it will like go away after a while but yeah. And it's like this and I use it, it's like good for like a couple weeks like usually when I start to see like it really become really clumpy then that's when I throw it away. Other than that, it's like usually good by then, until then. and. I just mix it, it's sort of thick, and I would put it on the spots where I have uneven skin tone. So for me, that is underneath my eyes, 
and then I would put it over here because I sort of have a different, a darker color where my mouth is. So I put it here and I put it going down to my neck over here. And I also put it um, right by my forehead around here because I have a, this like suntan. I have two different color tans. Um, so I try to do that to, uh, to even it out. And yeah, and I usually keep this on for up till 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna just walk you guys through my skincare routine as I'm doing it. So I'm gonna go wash my face and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, my skin is all clean. And I'm gonna show you guys what I use when I come out of the shower. So first things first. Okay, so first things first, I use the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Toner with Green Tea Seed. And this is a facial toner. Usually for the toner, uh, you're supposed to use cotton pads. But one, they're sort of like bad for the earth, so I've heard. And two, uh, nobody got time for that. Put it on my hand, slap it on my face, and I'm good to go. So I would take a little bit of this and just uh, put it in my hand and rub it all over my face. I also put it on my neck and at the back of my ears. I don't know why I put it at the back of my ears. It's just like a force of habit because I've been doing it for a while. I think I got it from when I would make would do. But um, yeah. So right now, Innisfree products are like one of my favorite. And you're going to see these a lot through, like throughout my entire skincare. But these products have really helped my skin. Especially like the green tea hydrating um, series that they have going on. This is like my favorite so far. Next up, I would use toners. Um, no, I would use serums. And um, I would use three serums. I can get it out. But yeah, it's three serums that I would mix together in my hand. I'll put it all over my face. So first one is The Ordinary. This is niacin in my 10% and zinc 1%. The bottle is sort of like a little messed up from me using it. But this product is really good for if you have uneven skin tones. Niacinamide is really good for uneven skin tones and dark spots. So what I've heard, so from what I've heard, I've been in incorporating a lot of products that are good for uneven skin tones, from because my skin gets dark, dark really easily. So I use a lot of those products. So I would take one drop of that. Next up, I use the Innisfree Intensive Hydrating Serum with green tea seed, and this one is a part of the green tea. Line. As you can see, I'm most likely, I'm pretty much done with it. This is really good. I love how hydrating this is. Next up, I use the Body Shop Tea Tree Anti-Imperfection Daily Solution. I don't know if this is a serum or not, but this is really good for when you have acne on your face or if you're breaking out. And usually I break out because of hormonal acne when I'm on my period. And I use this on a daily, so it sort of like prevents the breakouts from like happening happening a lot. So this really has helped my skin. Now I mix it in my hand and then I just put it all over my face. Around this time, I usually put Vaseline on my lips because I would use um, some lip products throughout my day. And next is moisturizer. And I use this one by Belief. It's the True Cream Aqua Bomb. And this is so hydrating. Like it's a gel consistency and it's like so cooling and it just, my skin takes it all in because I have dry skin. So when I put this on my face, it like just drinks it up. It's, it's like water for your skin. So I would just take, I'm almost done with it, as you can see. Um, I just take a little bit, because a little bit goes a long way with this. Next up, I would use this. It's like a Y-shaped face tool, yeah. Um, and it sort of rolls on your face. And um, I just put it on my face. I used to have a gua sha previously, but my brother came and he broke it. So I got this off of Shein, and so far it's really good. Like I've been seeing, oh, so far I've been seeing the same products, and the same results as when I use the gua sha. Like it gives my jaw, it makes my jaw more defined, gives me cheekbones, sort of slims my nose. Yeah, it's really good. Next up, I use SPF. And you should be using sunscreen even if it's like rainy, sunny, night, daytime, any time of the day you're supposed to be wearing on sunscreen because it helps with your skin. I forgot how, but if you Google it, you should find the answer. So I use the Innisfree Matte Priming UV Shield Sunscreen. And I know that in my previous videos, um, I think the Let's Talk video, I'm gonna put the card up above. I spoke about going on a sunscreen hunt because I couldn't find the perfect sunscreen for my skin. 
but I'm pretty sure I found it because I've been using this for a while and it's really good. Usually when I use sunscreens, I have like a lot of oils come out of my skin and it becomes like really oily and like shiny on my skin face and I hate it. Like it's the absolute worst. So I saw when I saw this industry matte priming one on Amazon, I was like, let's try it. I mean like it's matte and it also primes your skin at the same time. This is actually really, really good. Like it mattes your skin, but it mattes it, but also gives it a glowy look. So it's not like really dry, but it gives it enough like moisture in order for it to lock into my skin and not make it feel like, oh, it's dying. I would use like, I would just circle it around my hand. Um, this has like a slight white cast to it from what I've seen. But it's not one where it's like really overbearing, like you have to like clean it or something. So as you can see, it's sort of white, but I put it everywhere on my face. It sort of looks really weird on camera, but I promise you it's not that bad in real life. Like you don't even notice it in real life. Over time, it sort of like goes into my skin and it looks more natural and it gives me like more of a natural glow. That's all for my skincare. Um, at night, I would usually use a lip mask and or even throughout the day, I would use a lip mask if my my, my lips really need it. Um, so I use this Farcelli Immunicorn Antioxidant Lip Mask. Or I also use this one by Bite. It's the Agave Lip Mask. And I got this as um, a sample to try out. And it's really good. It's like really thick and hydrating. So now I'm just going to share with you guys some tips that has helped me with my skincare. First of all, knowing your skin type is the best thing you can ever do for your skin like as i said earlier i thought my skin was combination but in fact it was dry and after i and after i found that out my skin has like been 10 times better from before um it's also been really glowy so finding products that are fit for your skin type is amazing don't wear makeup a lot i know a lot of people like wear makeup throughout the day and every day because they go to work and stuff but try to go more natural or just don't wear makeup at all some days for me i only wear makeup if i'm doing youtube video or if i'm going out somewhere really really fancy or if i'm going out with my friends other than that i would just do a lip mascara and an eyeliner i mean sometimes eyeliner and then i also just fill in my eyebrows and call it a day for me i used to use um exfoliants and um, face scrubs and all that stuff but I only use it on my body now because when I use it my face becomes really sensitive and then I also break out from the over scrubbing and like the roughness of my skin so I don't use exfoliant at all following youtubers that also are like focused on like skincare and skin types and those stuff is really important I used to follow a Korean guy I can't remember his name but he taught me a lot about my skin and then I also used I also followed um, skincare by Hiram his channel, top tier, help me, introduce me to Sarah B. If you have problems with your skin, look at YouTubers that are focused on skincare. Also, using face shaping tools such as like a gua sha, a jaded face roll, face roller, why can't I talk? Or even using these, I don't know what it's called. I just call it the Y-shaped face roller because it looks like a Y. Using those on your face really help to sculpt your face and help to define your features more. Another tip, water. Drink water non-stop. Like water is going to be your best friend if you want to have that glowy, acne-free type of skin. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe if you're new. I hope this video has helped you in any which way or showing you guys my products seemed interesting. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!